say about any comments that have been um, presented on the YouTube network area. Some uh, some good ones and some not so good ones. Don't really know what else to say to that. You can't really argue. I'm trying to fight the, the floor here and get somewhere to put this bloody ladder. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say to that. Some people have had a good income. What do you say about the... Uh... Just trying to tidy the wires up and get them out of the way so the kids don't get them. <laughs> well, if you'd seen it before, six foot yeah. tall. if you'd seen it before where the light switch was with uh, the trunk and lid missing and there was a double socket at the bottom there that had holes smashed into it so the kids could stick their fingers in. Now that's what I was meaning by make it a little bit safer for the kids. Um, but going off the height of you, I think uh, the girls might be six foot at some point, so you never know. You never know. Um, but, but then they might not. But then but again, they, they might not, no. Um, but then they might be old enough to realise that they don't have to uh, put their fingers in electrics. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to say the same thing for myself as well, but you never know. Especially after. And what do you say about the neutral? The neutral? It's just bad practice, that, isn't it? I did identify it, by the way, before anybody <laughs> says anything else. I did identify you actually it, did but say working to... live is never best practice, is it? You did actually say to me you didn't want a neutral... About. about neutral about didn't you? Yeah, um, probably worse than getting electrocuted, but yeah, just bad practice that. Not really much else to say. Um, there's another comment about uh, don't need to put an RCD in at the board, which again is is right in what they're saying, but I personally would prefer the, the RCD here at the board to trip first. Um, Instead of having to run back into the house every time. Well, I say every time, obviously, if it does trip. Um, so at least now, the garage electrics are all together, aren't they? So if it trips... Yeah, because that can... that'll take out, half a, it'll take out half the house, obviously. There's a split load board in there. But again, you know, I'm not trying to bore people with sparky terms, but you've got, obviously, selectivity and that sort of stuff, which RCD is going to trip first. They're both 30 milliamps, so it depends. You know, if it's something that happens in this circuit inside... With the lighting, hopefully the, the garage would trip first, but you know, if it's something on the actual six mil cable itself and the one in the house would probably trip first. Um, but it's just that that matter of what's gonna trip first, I guess. Um I'll do a couple of tests and we'll find out at the end, I guess. Put some screwdrivers in socket. Uh, no, no, I can trip that. I've got also got my, my flute with me so I can do the test itself, but I don't think uh you should run oh. ah. Oh, the ah! <laughs> I was just going junction box of white uh, white glands. I did. I just grabbed whatever I could from my garage when I turned up. I wasn't expecting to be putting up junction boxes. I was actually only just going to change a board, but after seeing the state of the electrics, I couldn't just leave it at that. Um, so I went to screw not screw fix. It was tool station. A little order online, but we didn't have any um, twenty five mil stuffing glands, and they didn't have any white twenty mil stuffing glands when I ordered the stuff yesterday. So. We just got what was available. So uh, yeah, today. Um, but putting like put, putting like white trunking with like black, black boxes, you know, it's just not on, is it? Don't discriminate. <laughs> don't discriminate in this household. You told me so. I just went for it. Yeah. And you're tight as anything. <laughs> we went for the cheapest option. So what's the plan then? I know. Hopefully, we're just going to get the lights up today. We bought some outside lights as well because the. But it's uh, absolutely lashing it down so yeah so we'll, maybe if there's a, a pause in, in the in the rain might get that fixed it comes with its own flex high tough flex on the end of it so um that can just get fed through the, the already drilled hole mm. the pre-made hole um just connect that in um and we'll have one light hopefully outside um tool station did say that it would re refund us so um i'm yet to see the money for that but we'll wait and see um yeah just hopefully get the lights done we've obviously got the one double socket on already um well one of the, the back boxes for a double socket um a bit of trunking up a bit of white trunking up um just to hide the cables a little bit so people can't pull at them and stuff um, shall we go for shall we go for getting this wired up to this the light get the lights wired up and just put that one socket in there and then like i don't know cap it off or something 
I'm going to say you? yeah, but I've got two kids in there that are very tired. So we'll wait and see what happens if I get summoned by the wife. Fingers crossed. I no, I mean, I, I was just saying. Oh, but, yeah, mind you, that's just, it's off anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's isolated not... and locked off as well at the board. Yeah. So, um, because? You know, no one should be messing around with that. I've just got back from work. Jamie and the women and the kids have been to the, uh, where have you been? To the National Arboretum. To the National Arboretum. Just outside in Litchfield. Well, and Tamworth, actually. Burton on Trent, wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So they've been there. I've come back. I've been to tool station, screw fix, pick up some bits and bobs. Come back, but I've got a big day tomorrow and I've got to be in at about two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's not like he's done any work anyway, but you know, we yeah. need a video man. <laughs> yes, correct. And as you've all seen, I am a, vi a good video man. So, we're going to crack on, do a bit of this. Well, Jamie's going to crack on, do a bit of this. Uh, and then we're just going to go and have some tea and chill out and put the fire on and have a little bit. We're going to play a game of Scrabble, aren't we? Was, was that the plan? Like I said, we're going to have a game of Scrabble. Oh, that's great, yeah. Mr. Dyslexic and uh, <laughs> Mr. Can't Spell His Own Name play Scrabble. That'd be a good one, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be doing it. I'll be home tomorrow by probably dinner time, two o'clock latest, probably. Considering there's a weather, weather warning here as well, I don't actually think we'll be, um, going, anywhere. We'll be going out anywhere tomorrow. So, um, hopefully, I can even shoot a bit of footage myself. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Tripod. Set the tripod up. Yeah, get the tripod, go maybe get a. Uh, what are those things called? Time lapses. Time lapse, that's the one, yeah. I'll do a time lapse of, if we don't get the board done today, we'll get a time lapse done of how to do that board up there. But he will show you actually what he's doing, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step by step on how to, what are they called? Buzz bars. Step by step on how to buzz bar. <laughs> buzz bar. Because I, okay. I wasn't sure how they actually all connected together. But then he showed me. We'll have a step by step of the how ball. how I would do it. I'm not going to say that it will make you the perfect electrician, um, and I don't condone people doing it themselves. I definitely would recommend you to get an electrician in. Um, <laughs> this is your disclaimer. Yeah, this is my disclaimer <laughs> now. Yeah, um, but you know, each of their own people will be people. You know what I mean? Some people are curious. Some people aren't. Some people are jack of all trades. Some people are master of one. So. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Right. So, uh, we're calling it a night for our game of Scrabble. Um, pitch black, it's raining. Yeah, it's pitch miserable. black, raining, even though we're inside, that doesn't make a difference. <laughs> um, but it's a good enough reason to call it a day. Because the kids um, might get wet. Yeah, what, what we've done today, um, just got the, the 6mm, got the 25mm gland, um, Picked that up today, so that's the six mil twin and earth in. Um, obviously, got the conductors there. That is gonna be the main earth. Um, you know, I think for a socket and a and a light, that's so, that, that's plenty. Shall we just skip the sleeving on that? Shall we just? Yeah, we we'll just skip it. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we just leave, yeah, leave yeah. that as it is? Um, so yeah, that, the earth there is all right, just for the lighting and the the socket where the radio that's going in. Um, however, obviously, when it does come to putting the car charger in, um, it will have to get upgraded to a 10 mil minimum. Um, we've got the, the lighting cable, which is coming now. Um, it's been tacked along into the stuffing gland here. Um, ready to be dressed in tomorrow. Um, just coming along down the conduit. We've um, actually brought the neutral to the switch um, instead of, obviously, there's no ceiling rows, so neutral down to the switch. Uh, switch live out into this junction box. Uh, we've used the three um, the three conducted uh, Wago clips. I don't know what ones they are. It's like two two one or something like that. If you um, look on the shorts, you'll see a video. Yeah, um, on how they work into this uh, junction box or JB, depends on what you want to call it. Um, that feed up to this light here, um, and then also coming out. Right the way down, there is a light on the other side um, with another junction box. Let me get the torch in this messy garage. I don't know how we can actually do anything in here, but there's the other one. Yep, so that's that going in there um, a little bit. 
less cables everywhere. Yeah, because they um, were everywhere, weren't they? And all we need to do tomorrow is, while Dean's at work, I think I'm going to get the, the other two double sockets on on the walls, a uh, bit of a conduit in between, uh, run the, the two five um, to each one. Um, it's just the radio that's going in. And then it'll be a case of getting that um, all dressed in and hopefully made neater. Um, and I'll show you how to do that step by step. Um, also, we've got a light to put in, um, which will be coming into this junction box here. Still got the feed up here and the, the, the wiggle clips there. Still got the feed. Um, it is turned off at a switch, however, it's not been isolated at the, at the board. Um, and then we've got another one, hopefully pick another one up somewhere um, and get them up tomorrow dressed and then sorted. So that's about it for today, I think. Um, so this is episode two. Episode two, <laughs> yeah. We're just going to drag it out for as long as possible. <laughs> it's not because my beer ran out and I want to go inside and get another one. Um, yeah, so hopefully by the end of this. Or tomorrow, it's well, got to go live. It's right? got to go live tomorrow, yeah, because I'm, I'm away to, uh, on Saturday morning. Um, or afternoon, sorry. So yeah, hopefully get that done. I'll get, get the testing done as well. Um, yeah, fill out on the IC. Um, and so it goes they need yeah. to come back tomorrow <laughs> or subscribe <laughs> one of the two yeah preferably subscribe um subscribe to his channel um and then yeah come back tomorrow and see the the final connections getting put in and um, get it see so get dressed in and then completed hopefully and i think if you're interested in uh, electrics Jamie's actually got a YouTube channel. <laughs> I said he should actually do some videos of what he's doing and put it up. But if you want to search him on YouTube, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Put any comments of the content you want to see. I'm yeah. more in the renewables, so it's becoming big now. Let's get him. Let's get him some subscribers. He's new to it. Yeah. So let's see if we can get him up there with some subscribers. Cheers. Welcome back to this final part of this uh, garaging upgrade. Um, got a few little things to do today. Um, thought we were going to finish yesterday, but um, had Scrabble night, uh, which didn't actually happen because uh, Dean went to bed a lot early because he was up at two or something this morning to go to work. So I'm by myself today. I'm sure you can see Dean is, isn't here. So we've got the, the tripod. We're going to get that set up and I'm going to crack on and get these double sockets done for the radial. Um, i going to show you a little step-by-step -step of how to actually wire up a little garage unit. It's only a little four-way board, so you know it's, it's nothing special. I've got an outside light as well to put on for Dean when the weather stops. Uh, absolutely lashing down. Um, it's been a bit wet here. I'm not sure where you guys are from, but I know there's been a lot of weather warnings out. Uh, especially for the north part of England. Um, so yeah, um, let's get cracking. So this is uh, where one of the double sockets is going to be going in here. Um, just going to get a couple of measurements, get some cutting done. Um, obviously need to move a few things as well um, because the garage is in absolute state. So I'm going to crack on with that. I'll obviously got a bit set up now, the tripod set up. So what we're going to do, do a little bit of a time lapse, I think. And that's what you just call it. Uh, time lapse of me just putting up some double sockets, do some measuring, some cutting, um, all that good stuff. So the final double socket is going to be going just here. Um, Purely so that Dean can use this rack in here for charging purposes, um, for his tools and stuff. So I'm going to get that all measured now, cut up. Um, yeah, so final socket going on before we can start running the, the radial in. So now I'm just going to run some 2.5 in a radial from here 
clipped along, I'm going to come to this point first and back up down to this one, back up, finally ending at this one over here. So I'm going to crack on with that now. So we are on to the final leg of the radial, so I'm not sure if you can see, it is tacked along, I'd say the most neatly done, but I am on holiday, so Annie's getting this for free, so there's a, a bonus for him. Um, can I ask a question so anyone that looks at this or views his videos? Any tradesmen out there, do you not hate coming in to do a job in somebody's house and this is what you have to fight through to get all the work done? I actually don't know if this is just hoarding now. He's got some amount of rubbish in here. But especially when you're trying to tack things or you know, try and pull cables in certain places. Not just that, I'm sure for joiners, especially if you're going into cupboards or whatever, and you've got, you know, the customer knows you're coming, but they don't take anything out. Not saying that Dean should have done that, but, ah, oh, sweating, just having to move stuff from A to B, just so you can get a decent little path just to walk through or just to even get your step ladders in or whatever. But uh, let us know in the comments, um, what your pet hate is, um, come into a customer's house to do some work. So I'm just gonna start wiring up the, the radio now, the neutral, the live, and the CPC, or earth, depending on what you wanna call it. Um, it needs to be sleeved, so. Double sockets are finally wired. One down the bottom there as well. And this one here. Switch was wired yesterday. Um, so it's just a case now of sorting out this. Um, little four way garage unit. I'm going to try to film as much as possible um not really sure how we're gonna go about that but i will sort that out um so at the moment we have the uh, lighting circuit here 1.5 have a 2.5 for the radio and our incoming from the the main consumer unit in the house um six more twin and earth this is actually running a bit of pipe or conduit, whatever you want to call it, um, from the house to the, the garage itself. Um, I'll show you just now, actually. Let me just go inside and have a look. Right, right, right. Down. So a bit dated now, you can see it there, notched into the bottom of the tiles, which goes right the way through behind the 
I think it's actually in the the gap between the brick and the, the plaster itself, the void or whatever you want to call it here. Um, so that is how it's rooted. It is RCD protected on the other side. Yeah, so like I just said, it is RCD protected. Um, it is a 30 milliamp RCD. So as I was saying, yeah, it's on a 63 amp RCD, 30 milliamp um, through there. This one's rated at 40 amps. Uh, again, it is a 30 milliamp RCD. Um, so I think someone's already mentioned in the comments of the first video about selectivity. Um, it just obviously depends how far upstream the the fault occurs. But obviously, RCD is only for for current itself. Um, working obviously on the imbalance of what comes in and then goes back through the neutral. If there's an imbalance there, then obviously it's going to trip. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is going to start wiring up. So we are actually installing the Fortress circuit protection from BG itself. Um, like it just says, uh, enclosure is metal itself. Um, obviously it has to comply with 18th edition regs now. Uh, the garage kit is 5 mod. It's IP65 rated, which is good. Um, it comes with a 40 amp RCD, um, a 6 amp and a 32 amp MCB as well. So if you are wondering why I'm putting in the 40 amp RCD uh, in the kit. You've obviously got the, the actual enclosure itself, um, obviously with the, the breakers. Gives you a little guide here of what you need to do. Um, pretty good actually, it tells you obviously how to actually mount it to the wall. Gives you just a generic of what you need to do to, to clean it and stuff as well. What the guarantee is, and for any of you people that like to know about torque settings of the breakers and the RCD and stuff, they are all included. Um, and it gives you all the interface characteristics as well. So, yeah. Um, actually, I think it personally is actually a, a solid little unit. Um, pretty decent itself. It does come with, obviously, it's buzz bar as well. It gives you one blanking cap for the Obviously, it's only going to give you your RCD and two breakers. So they have provided with a blanking cap. I've actually brought a 32 amp for the future um, car charger going in. Buzz bar cover. It's giving you some sort of sealed grommets. Um, obviously, for any knockouts as well. And for any of the holes that you're not using, there are as well a couple of these little bungs. So, yeah, it does come with your sticker. Obviously, a sticker. Um, yeah, so that's the kit itself. Um, let's get down to the wiring side. So I've managed to get uh, Dean's little tripod stand um, to get the camera on. So I apologise if it does shake while I'm moving backward forward from the board. As I'm sure you can see as well, I've took out all the protective devices from the board. So this is how the unit comes itself uh, in the box when it's boxed. Um, Obviously, it doesn't have the cables, um, it's just the DIN rail and the, the unit itself. At the top, I have made two 20mm um, holes for some stuffing glands just to, to keep the, the IP rating of the board and a 25mm hole as well, um, again, to keep the IP rating of the board and also its protection as well. So. Again, so people can't get uh, fingers and stuff in as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start how I would do the board normally. I would normally dress the cables in um, and then I would put on this device here, the RCD that we've been talking about. In the back of it, if I turn it sideways there, you can see that groove. Um, it's also got a little black lever at the bottom here. It pushes up and pulls back out. So that sits here. On this, this thing here, the silver thing, it's called the DIN rail. It's got two little edged bits here. That's the edge of your RCD. Um, point to note on this, where you actually put your RCD 
um, is quite pertinent because there's nothing worse than putting the RCD too far to the right or a little bit too far to the left. And when you actually go to put the face cover on, the face plate on, um, it doesn't fit because then you've got to jig your um, breakers around. So it's got its neutral lead here, comes up the back of a DIN rail like so, just pull it out of the way for now. And again, there's them edged parts here. What I like to do is I just like to move a neutral. I like to push down like that. So it's sat into the groove, push up at the, the lever and then give it a little tug here like so. Give it a little, and that's it in. Then I don't normally put the neutral lead in just yet. So I'll keep that there, push it over as far as I can do so it meets these little notches at the side here. I'm not sure if you can see them there. Just in here is what I'm going on about. You can see two flat parts of that DIN rail. So now what I will do is I will put the breakers on. Um, so I like to go right to left in size order. Um, so if it was just for a, a little garage unit, that's what I do. If it was a consumer unit itself, um, obviously you want to think about splitting the rings and the, the higher options just so that the RCD itself isn't going to be overloaded. Um, balance it out a little bit. Right, so I've got my 32 amp here, which is a BG again. It's got that grooved bit at the bottom. So hook it over the DIN rail, pull down. And then push up, give it a little bit of a tug here. There we go. Then I'm going to go 16 amp after this. This is what the radial is on. Like so. Like that. And then last but not least, I've got the lighting circuit, which is going to be on a 6 amp breaker. Hook it on. Push. Give it a little bit of a pull. There we are. Cool. All nice. And in. So. That's that. Moving on then. This little copper bit here that you can see, this is called a buzz bar. So this is what goes between the RCD and each circuit breaker, which provides it with the power which comes from the house. So at the bottom here, it's denoted by a number on the top here. It says number two. So just going to loosen all of the screws here at the bottom, which opens up a little hole in the bottom of the breakers. As you can see here, you've got a fat side here and you've got three thin ones. So the fat one here, or the wider one as we want to call it, that one fits into your RCD. So it just pops into the bottom like so. Push it up so that it's level and tighten up here. Obviously, I do have a torque screwdriver in my bag. However, I don't have the setting for it. Um, that's actually back at home. So these will be hand tight. But like I said, make sure you do torque, torque them. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. All nice and tight. There we are. Again, all the breakers are still intact. What else comes in a little pack is this little black sort of device here. It's not really a device, it's just a bit of plastic really with a, a hole in a groove system. So that sits on the buzz bar, that stops anybody that opens up the, um, the, the mountain face or whatever you want to call it, face plate. Um, and it stops them from having that chance to touch this buzz bar. So it's, it's quite a, a pertinent point. Um, you normally get it on a live and a neutral as well. So make sure you slip that on, push it right the way up, like so. You want to have as much as, uh, sorry, as least possible copper showing, but obviously that's in it as far as it can go. Also at this point here, I will now screw in this neutral fly lead or whatever you want to call it, neutral lead 
into the number one or the first screw from the right. Obviously, if we're working right to left for the breaker, so you want to work right to left on the neutral and right to left on the earth bar as well. So this is a neutral bar here. It's denoted by a little N notched into the white of the, the unit itself. So number one there, here we go. Straight in, tighten up. So, cool, give it a tug, there we go, nice and simple. And that is how you start the board. So moving forward then, we now have everything to neutrals in, buzz bars in, breakers and RCD are in. So it's just the case now of stripping back the cables um and terminating as simple as that so i've already stripped this one back um i'm going to show you how to do that now but i always like to leave quite a large length on them um unfortunately the previous person um actually snipped the earth quite short on this so you know i'd like to leave it a little bit longer than that i always like to leave a bit of length on there just for anyone else that needs to work on the, the system itself so how i like to do this i like to Bring it down to the bottom here of the board with a pair of croppers or something or snips. Snip it like so. Then I find the earth like this with a pair of pliers. I prefer using these long nose pliers. I like to just drag it up like this. It breaks the the sheathing or the, ins the outer insulation, as some people will call it, right the way up to the top. So then it's just a case of pulling like so. Then snip it off at the top, making sure that you don't snip any of the insulation of the, the conductors or, as I've seen some people do, snipping the actual earth off itself. So this one here is my radial. So obviously bearing in mind, if you have a short memory um, or you don't, haven't identified by the conductors or you've got more than one um, of the same conductor size in the board, you might want to label it up. Obviously in this case, I've only got 125 and 115. So again, what I'm doing, bringing it down here, just snipping where it's at, make a little cut in here like so makes a little V inside there you'll see the copper conductor quite simply just get it so it's out there I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera nice and simple just pull it up again breaking that outer sheathing right away up to the top like so voila so you can't see it no more. Um, just as you did last time. Peel apart the insulation. And bring it up nicer. Again, with the snips or your croppers, just snip away that outer sheathing. So, right, there we have it. So, a point to note at this point is to separate the conductors to the part where you want to go first. So, I always like terminating the earth first. Um, some people like doing the neutrals, uh, the blue ones. Some people like doing the lives, which is the brown cables. So, I prefer using... Uh, so I'm not using, but getting the earth out of the way first. So what you need for this now is some earth sleeving. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know what earth sleeving looks like, it's just this hollow 
plastic or insulated green and yellow tube-like thing. Don't know how else to describe it. So what I do at this point, I try and measure off the earths. So they're sort of the same size like this. And I'll just I'm gonna snip a little bit extra because I need to fold back on them. So snip that away. Oh, excuse me. So it's like that. Then I like to bend back the earth. Give it a little squeeze. And that makes it just a little bit easier to catch it with a screw. And then same again like that. Yes. Like that. So then all three of them have this like bit. So now I will use an earth sleeve in. It just slides over and push it right the way up. I like to try and get it into the insulation, the grey. Just get it in there nice. And then I fold it over and where that fold is here, that is the end of that. And with these croppers I'm quite lucky. It's just a case of, it just snips and comes away. <clears throat> and you just repeat that for every single one. So here we have it, all three of the earthen conductors or CPCs for these two. This is what you, the bonding for the actual board itself that goes back to the main earth terminal. So again, this is going to go into this first one here. So this is now one, three, four. The reason why there's no two is because that's being left for the 32. So there we go. So let me just move these out of the way here. Get them up. There we go. So hopefully that's a bit better for you to see. Here we go. One. Like so. Then we've got three. So that'd be one, two, three, like so. And then last but not least, we've got number four here. At this point here, I like to just get rid of these now. All this excess here, I just like to make a little loop in it in my fingers, like so. And then all the rest of this here, I just try to hide it away at the top, just so that it's a little bit neater on the finish. So just up we go. There we are, just pull it away and up. Try and get rid of it all there. So then you've only just hopefully just got these Final remaining ones, just here, like so. There we go. So we have our neutral conductors next. So we have our incoming neutral, which comes into this RCD. So it comes into here, which is denoted by this little N here. The way it works is it comes through the RCD. And you see again, this neutral fly lead here comes up to this neutral bar, which is where we terminate our remaining neutrals. So your incoming neutral always comes into the top of the RCD. And then your neutrals for the circuits come into this neutral bar here. So I'm going to just terminate them now and show you what it looks like after. So that is now our Earth's in, up here. Our neutrals are now in here. And last but not least, all we've got to do now is to put the 
live conductors in. Obviously this is an old colour, these are the new colours. So red for the old colours, brown for the new colours. So I'll just do that now and you can see the final product. So there we have the final wired product. Um, what I've done is I've took the live cables, I've wasted any of the extra down the bottom and brought it back up into a little loop here and just pushed into the breaker and then screw tight. Same again on the neutrals, I've done like a little circle coil as such just to waste any extra away. Um, some people don't like to do that because you know when you, when you coil a, uh, a conductor like this um, it can induce an EMF but you know for something as small as this um, it's going to be very minimal so I've got no dramas doing that with this just now. So all I'm going to do next is put on the face plate um, just to make sure that the, like I said earlier that the, the RCD and all the breakers fit within um, I need to put a quick light on outside for Dean because um, their outside one is just broke and do a little bit of testing um, get a ZD, um, get a ZS, um, do a bit of, uh, well do a bit of dead testing first sorry just go through everything and then um, yeah like I said get a ZD, ZS, um, PEFC and all that sort of stuff so yeah cool so this is a light that Dean's asked me to put on. It's the Otley LED Slimline Floodlight um, Zinc Outdoor, uh, 1,600 lumens, 20 watt LED. Pre-wired, like it says there, um, with a half meter of uh, Tuflex, um, IP65 rated. And I don't know, I think it is cool white, the, the light on it. Um, let me just see if I can see it now. Um, nope, can't find it, so I'll have a look inside. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop this up and then that'll be it. So here we have the uh, final product now. We've uh, tested, uh, energised, done our live test as well. So underneath here we've got our... One thing I will say actually on the BG is we're actually back to front, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, what I probably will do actually is I might just put underneath here one, two, three, four, um, just so anybody else that comes down knows. Obviously, if you can't read, but it does say main switch. Um, two is blank, three is socket radial, and four is lighting. Um, so up there, let's see. Stick on it. We don't actually have a dual coloured sticker on there, unfortunately. Um, I don't have one and I don't have my um, label maker just to even make one up and put on there. So um, I'll put it on the remarks and the EIC for, um, or schedule inspections for um, Dean when I hand it over. Um, so we've got here just some plain white 20 mil conduit clips. Socket, got a junction box for the outside light, which if I show you now, it's just this one here. Um, not too bad, I don't think, I think that's not too bad. Looks all right. Then, see so that's that uh, old one. Um, there is <laughs> old wall. I did blow the back of uh, the brick out, unfortunately, but uh, Dean is gonna silicon that hole up for me, he's already said. Um, obviously, it, twin and a half's all been clipped. Um, all the way along the joists, um, right the way along, again down for that double socket, that was um, the first socket there, second socket here which is obviously for the dryer is going to be on, and our last socket um, will be over there, well is over there, um, and the lights will work, so that's job done really. Um, it's been a bit of a long-winded process. I'm sure everybody here will be uh, thinking, no way that took that guy three days to to do probably a half shift job. Um, but it was 20 minutes here and there. Um, first day, a couple of hours. Um, yesterday, I think I managed about 20 minutes. And today is probably another hour or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer actually. So yeah. Um, 
Job's done, happy with that. Um, looks neater anyway, uh, and I feel a bit safe with my nieces running around in here now. Um, you know, there was nothing wrong with the height position of the other board. Again, I've just copied it, just moved it along. So when the vehicle charger goes here, it's kind of just straight down and through. Um, it was more of a light switch and a socket that was down here. Um, I didn't like that at all. Um, unearthed back boxes a lot. Um, cables that could be pulled out. Um, yeah, so the sheathing that was pulled back. So I just think it looks a little bit neater and out of the way. Um, so now Dean can tidy up this horrible, horrible mess. Um, says he will, but whether or not. Um, yeah, we'll wait to see. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, cheers for watching.